Okay, so I need some crankbait split rings. Hmm. So this says size three, but it looks as big, or if not bigger, than this one, which is a size four. And that one says a size four, but that's a four five, and that's tiny. So how do you know? <laughs> is it millimeters? Is it inches? What is it? Well, let's take a look at some split rings today, guys. What do you say? Hey, fish heads, Jen Cravasi, Jekyll Bates. It can be a mystery, and it can be confusing. So let's take a look at some split rings. So generally, when you guys are looking for split rings on regular crankbaits, and I'm talking stuff like this size, this is your average 2 or 2.5 size, this happens to be an atlas. So on these, normally I'm going to use what's called a number 3, but number 3's are not consistent across the board. So let's take a look at what that means and why it means what it means and why there's such a difference. Number one, most of the time, unless you're in the States and they are specifically doing like inches, most of the time it's in millimeters and what they're measuring is the interior diameter. So from the inside here to the inside over here, you're looking at about 4.5 on this one, but this is a size four. So you could assume that they're talking about millimeters. This, the, the, uh, this is a number three. This is the most common, and most people go for a size three for most crankbaits, unless you're at shorties, and then it's a size two, but we're gonna talk about websites in just a minute. So this is a size three. For most places, Barlow's carries this as a size three, and it works on most crankbaits. This is bigger, and then fives are even bigger for like swim baits and stuff like that. So fours and fives, swim baits. Twos and threes, and that's, uh, you're looking at basically the inside millimeter. Although size three, <laughs> obviously this is more than just three millimeters. It's actually about four. And then this one is about three. So it can be confusing. You could also go by the external. But if you're going to the external, that's five millimeters. That's just over five millimeters. And that's six millimeters. Some places go by inches. So that can be a little confusing too. But just stick with me on this. Size three. Size four. Size two. If you're going, if they do the number sign before the size, this is generally the rule of thumb. Size three, most places are what you want for a crankbait. They can be a little confusing. So VMCs and Rapala group, these are made in Europe. So that's a little bit different than the Danielson and Kahara's. These are made in Japan. So these are specialty for really tiny I don't know why it says 4.5 because there is not any of these that will fit inside or outside unless it's an exterior. We'll take a look at that in a second too. So if we're looking at something like this and we want a size comparison, let's just pull one of those out. Compared to a, a standard size three, yes, I've been painting this morning. Sorry about the hands folks, but Girls working for a living. That fits inside of the number three. And that's called a 4.5. So what's confusing to a lot of folks here is that this is much smaller. And usually they go up in size because the inside diameter goes up in millimeters. But this one probably is in Japan is the most accurate because if you place this on the actual millimeters the entire thing this is external diameter is 4.5 millimeters 
So this is the only one that's true to the outside diameter. Most of them are looking at the inside diameter. So let's take a look at some websites. So the VMC Rapala Group does not have a size chart on it. Um, most of their stuff for split rings is a little bit larger than most. So in VMC Rapala, you would need a size two. If you're looking at Spro, Spro has got one of the best expandable charts that I've seen. The difference is it's not millimeters, it's inches. So that's the other factor. You have to know whether or not you're dealing with inches or millimeters. So this one specifically goes through inches. The inside of the eye is a 0.17, which is the same as, and if you don't want to do the conversion charts into millimeters, it's the same as um, like a f right around five millimeters. So size three is the standard. Uh, it's still the standard from the regular Spros to the Eagle Claws to a lot of the, the normal stuff that you would see, say, at Barlow's Tackle. I've got that pulled up for you guys as well. But the, again, the basic factors are, are you looking at inside diameter or external diameter? And are you looking at inches, fractions of an inch, really? Or are you looking at millimeters? So those are the two biggest factors. And then you have to apply that to what you're actually using. If you're doing swim baits and stuff, you want bigger split rings. If you're doing crank baits and smaller jerk baits, usually across the board, a size two or a size three is what's going to get you through. Um, I think on, let's see, let's pull up Barlow's Tackle. So Barlow's Tackle, the size three is your average size. And it looks like they go through inches, but the size three is what you're going to want. Size four is a little bit bigger. Size five is what I normally use for the larger swim baits that I do. Unfortunately, it is not the same case over at Shorty's. Shorty's doesn't show you pictures. They're geared, but they're geared for like um, businesses, legit businesses that are doing all bulk orders because the minimum that they're going to sell is a thousand. Um, so they have five different sizes at Shorty's, and then you're looking at different price lists along those lines. So at Shorty's, if you are a, a legit business and you can verify your business ID, your tax ID, and yada yada, um, you're looking at size two for crankbaits and then size three, four, and five for swim baits. If you come over to Eagle Claw, they also go in inches and it's internal diameter. So you're looking at the size from here to there. Um, also a size three or a size two if it's smaller crankbaits. Dinger is millimeters, but he's very good also because he goes and does the exact millimeter size. So for most of you guys, you're gonna be looking at four, four and a, uh, 4 4.5, and then what I like um, if I've ordered from him in the past is these black nickel 5.5s. Um, that would be my average go-to. So you're going to get a lot of different opinions. The next thing that I want to talk to you guys about is where to get information from. Now on all of these companies, of course, Brian is very accessible. You can message him, email him on all of the companies that I'm flashing across the screen right now. You can call these companies. And then you've got forum formats like Bass Resource. You've got BBC, which is Bass Boat Central. They're out of Canada, but they're also a very good forum format. They've been around for since the beginning of time as well. So there's lots of folks out there that have questions just like you do. And I, it's fresh on my mind today because I had uh, a customer that's also an airbrush artist that's um, he's been doing it for a little while now, but he's like, I don't even know. He's like, I'm used to getting it one place, but they're out. So can you help me with what size I need? So it got me thinking that it can be really confusing when you're looking at split rings, but know if it's inches or millimeters. Understand whether or not your brand is looking at the inside diameter of the split ring 
or the external diameter like Katana is from Japan. Katana, I think, is one of the only companies that goes by the external diameter. That means the entire thing from the edge to the edge on the outside. Um, so that's just something, a little food for thought there. I hope that I've been able to convey a little bit of wisdom to you guys today. Uh, most of you guys have been doing it long enough to where you know what split ring size you need. But it can be confusing because I've seen a bunch of questions pop up over the last few weeks on different forums. So I just thought that I would do my best to try and address it for you guys. And I hope that that's helped a little bit. Um, just, to, just real quick to recap the resources that I've listed here. Split rings at Barlow's. Split rings at Shorty's. Split rings at Eagle Claw, split rings at Dinger, forums, Spro. I didn't. I didn't list um, owner split rings. I use those frequently as well. And then your VMC Rapala group. So there's a lot of different places to get them. They're not all listed the same, but across the board, if you're going to Barlow's Tackle, they do bulk sales for the general public, and they're pretty decent. I've used them in the past. I'm not using them currently because I go through shorties, um, but their prices are relatively competitive. So it's something you guys want to take a look at. If you're looking for super extra durable, strong ones, then I would absolutely recommend Owner, VMCs, and um, Spros. So thanks very much, y'all. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I will talk to you on the next video. Cheers and happy casting from Jekyll Bates.